My inspiration was my grandmother. So one day I was sitting on the couch and I was thinking, what can I make that my grandmother would enjoy, actually use, and not just throw away in the closet? And that's when a dinner carrying tray came to mind. I wanted to create a dinner carrying tray that my grandmother would use with one hand to carry all of her food items in one trip. I found a one-handed tray online by a company called Easy Comforts. It looked cool, but I read some online reviews of this tray that mentioned that the tray was heavier than expected and that the, and that the handle was hard to attach and required more strength than some people had and that the dishes would slide around. So I decided to make a tray slimmer to that but with some modifications of my own. Hi, this is my device I made. It's a one-handed carrying tray. The purpose of this device is to help carry food items or other items using one hand and leaving the other hand free. So first I used a tray that was light so it wouldn't be too heavy. As you can see, this tray has two handles to provide more stabilization. Uh, the handles are also adjustable so you can move them around like this and they will stay put to whatever position you would like them. You can also clamp them down to the side like this so it becomes a full tray and it doesn't bother you when you're eating. Um, from reading the reviews online, I realized it was difficult for some clients to remove and attach these handles, so I decided uh, to make these handles more adjustable. Uh, I also incorporated rounded handles for a better hold. You can actually remove the handles by untying the gear ties over here, and you could further modify them by uh, for example, attaching a bigger uh, handle with a bigger circumference, which can build up the handles. You can also add some non-slip material on the handles for someone who frequently drops items. Removing the handles also helps when you need to wash the tray. I also put a non-slip mat to prevent uh, dishes and cups from sliding off or sliding around during the tray when you're moving. You can also use a tray with the higher raised edge if you would like it. The materials I used were a carrying tray, which you can get at Walmart, Restaurant Depot, or you could just steal it from Taco Bell when no one's looking. The other materials I used was two red, two feet red tubes and a rubber twist tie made by a company called Gear Tie. Uh, you can get both those items at Home Depot. And finally, the last item I used was a non-slip mat, which you can cut to fit into the tray. The total cost of this device was $12 and it took about 35 minutes to create. The device can be used by anyone, but, I would, but most likely I would say it would be used by adults, so anyone 18 or older. Someone who is an amputee and has only one hand or someone who is hemiplegic or has suffered a stroke and has, a weak, has one weak hand can use this tray. Uh, also someone who uses a cane to walk or needs to hold a rail to go up and down the stairs can use this tray to carry all necessary items so they don't have to make multiple trips. Finally, caregivers can use this device to reduce the amount of trips required to bring food to their care recipients. So this is my adaptive device and coming up is a video of my grandmother using it. Thank you.